I had a reality check during a piano lesson two days ago with a student of mine that uh, reminded me, humbled me a little bit and reminded me of trying to give more freedom and initiative to students with their raw talent and energy, that, that creative energy and freedom of imagination that they have. Um, because I kind of control in a controlled way tried to handhold the student through a new piano comic I gave them for the Halloween. I always ask a little bit of questions in the beginning just by looking at the comic before playing that story on the piano and of course before reading the lyrics because then it becomes more clear what's happening. So while doing all those questions uh, the interpretation, the eye of the kids, so a totally different um, a different scenario of the story and uh, it kind of reminded me and put me in my place of not maybe not doing too many questions when I give them the comic and just letting them by themselves interpret it the way they uh, see it uh, and usually they have better ideas and interpretations so what was the scene? All friends are gathered and um, are preparing to celebrate, are celebrating the Halloween and they're all dressed up in uh, skeleton costumes and they're doing a dance, four of them, because the fifth is doing something else. And since uh, two of the heroes, Spiky the Hedgehog and Goliath the Piglet, are always smaller in size than the other three heroes, uh, I had to draw all four of them holding hands like that and pretending to dance to do like the swan dance and uh, the, their hands could not reach each other if I wanted them to be shown lined up all together so I drew a chain why not use a chain as a or as an ornament for Halloween so that let's say spiky I cannot all of a sudden draw double the size his hands can grab the hand of BTB the bear he holds the chain BTB holds the chain, so this distance is being saved by that drawing of the chain so that I don't have to worry about drawing disproportion, disproportionate uh, bodies of the heroes. And uh, the other hero, Webe, the frog, as usual, is eating all the treats. It's already opened the bag and starting to feast. And my student saw that uh, chain and she said like ah oh, okay I know they're bringing uh, the chain so that they tie up their friend Weber so that he stops eating all the treats and it kind of blew my mind because that's a great idea and great interpretation of the story because it didn't even cross my mind I drew the chain to solve that drawing problem but she saw it as a part of the story. Ah, the chain is for that naughty friend of theirs that is starting to eat the treats before they finish their Halloween celebrations. So, this is a reminder for some of you who are a little bit like me. Give more freedom to your students and their imagination. And I'll be sure next time not to ask too many questions as to not to guide their eyes and interpretation of the comic that they see and let them just see whatever they want to see and use it. Happy Halloween!